and I've, I've, you know, I think, you know, all, you know, hugely to the good, just hugely to the good. Um, you know, they're all, you know, all quite different. The string fellows, <laughs> different again. Um, but Boris Johnson, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, it is quite interesting when I, I did the debate with Boris Johnson, and there was quite a lot of. Yeah, you know, there was. Quite, I don't do much Facebook, but I was reliably informed there was quite a lot of Facebook attack on me for going and debating with Boris Johnson, Tory MP, you know, and all the rest, and of a particular sort. Um, and I think that in any case, that would have been stupid. I mean, you know, that just you know, you don't go and talk to him because he's a Tory. I mean, come on, sunshine, you know. It was actually a charity gig. It was raising money for Classics for All, for schools charity in, in London, um, which was you know, a, a, another aspect of it. But even if it hadn't been, um, you know, I, I think in some ways what... Uh, I, mean, I'm, I say this because I won the debate, I suppose. You know, so it's a bit easier. I, I, would have, I perhaps wouldn't have been so cocky if I hadn't. I mean, I think that Johnson is somebody who's has actually done some good for classics. He has done some good. He did, when he was mayor of London, try to put some, get some resources siphoned into it. On the other hand, also, you know, he's the kind of image of classics that, um, uh, that sometimes makes it hard for us to reach the kind of people we'd want to interest in classics because, you know, he looks like a kind of old Etonian subject and it looks as if classics means kind of coming out and being able to, you know, say off by heart the first 12 lines of the Iliad, you know, you know, in Greek. I mean, that's a kind of mixture of sort of blindness and appalling showing off and also not very, not very interesting, you know. Boris Johnson's got a very long way being able to quote 12 lines of the Iliad, you know, and say how wonderful it is. Um, but I thought what was... I, I found it very interesting. I mean, as I say, I, <laughs> you'd be getting a different spiel if I hadn't won. Um, uh, because it, it, was also, it was clear both, both politically and in relation to the politics of classics is he gets away with murder. You know, he gets away with just telling, you know, thing, just kind of telling confidently things that are wrong. Now, somehow... You need to know that. We needed to know that. But he, nobody did it to, about Brexit, Roman. He was doing exactly the same thing. I mean, the bit that stru- stuck in my mind um, about his performance there, which, you know, and he's, you know, he's rhetorically much kind of more practiced and smart than I am. But he says, look, the point about Athens, you know, in, in the end, nobody gives a toss whether Athens or you know, Rome is, Greece or Rome is better or not, you know, you know, but that's the kind of spirit of the debate. Um, the thing about 5th century Athens is the man, the humanity, um, is in the ascendant. You know, it is, it is the, 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 you know, we're no longer in thrall of the divine, you know, it is, this is the time when humanity has sees, looks itself in the face and knows that it's right, all right. And the, one example he gave, he said, no, go, go to the British Museum, and he was wanting to get a dig at the Greek ambassador, in. he was on the front row, and say, you know, go, go to the Parthenon Marbles to the British Museum, very glad they're there, you know, thereby losing quite a large number of Greek votes. Um, and he said, what I always think when I go to see the Parthenon Frieze is the, you know, what's important about it is the gods and the human beings in that frieze are the same size. You know, it doesn't take much to say, but Boris, the gods are sitting down, you idiot. You know, if they stood up, they'd be a hell of a lot bigger. But, so, there is that kind of self, that, you know, I think, blokish self-confidence, in which I am going to, you know, I am going to tell you about the classical world. I, because I know Greek, I am going to read you the Iliad. Oh, oh, actually, not read it. I'm going to recite it from memory. I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to come out with all these factoids. Well, actually, half your sodding factoids are wrong, darling. And so I think somehow um, being able to show that, being able to show you can't trust this guy, you can't trust this guy with the truth, quite important. And I hope, I shouldn't say this, 
but I hope that um, people who have interests wider than classics will look at it and will, because it's a very good debate for seeing how Boris operates. So there's another different use of classics. You know, in the end, who the hell cares whether the gods or the men are the same size on the path? And then it really doesn't matter. You know, but he's wrong. <laughs>